So I'm just sitting here um, looking at the Wii dashboard or whatever they call this thing and I remembered um, I've got a couple of games on here that I downloaded so I'm going to do videos on these and um, if you don't know the reason why I've got these is Nintendo points so I think my brother had a DS and uh, my parents had some um, Wii stuff so I scrounged around got um, the little points cards that you get in the game boxes and um, yeah bought a couple of games with them so um, I'm going to hit record on this first one and it is Heavy Fire Special Operations which is pretty basic um, you know shooting games if you don't know about the Nintendo points, you go on a, a website, a Nintendo website, put a code in, and there's all sorts of shit you can get. Um, I usually just trade it for points to spend in the store. Hopefully, if I if I do end up getting this Wii U that I've ordered, um, you know, hopefully there'll be some Nintendo points to redeem, so I'll be able to buy some more stuff. Right, play game. <coughs> so try and have some sort of yeah. Um, so it looks like you can kind of rank up and stuff. Um, I've played this before, so I don't really know why I haven't been ranked up or anything. So it's not a visually stunning game, um, but this is a kind of pocket money um, release, I'd call it. There's not really a great deal that you can afford with the uh, pitiful kind of amount of Nintendo points you get off just a few games, but as you can see it's a military based on rails shooter. Shit shoot. Goes bad guys. It's like a generic um, Middle Eastern kind of setting. Um, as you can see, it does get pretty, uh, pretty hectic. I'm actually uh, struggling to aim uh, with this small kind of area of screen that I've got. So this might not be a very long video. It carries on like this. Gotta try again. This could end up being an ultimately pointless video to be honest because it's very it's very hard to control with this whole setup that's going on here. Try and sit a bit further back and just start shooting from the get-go. So you'll see that the guys um, have like exclamation marks come up above the heads. Um, that basically means that they're about to do some damage to you if you don't deal with them, so they're the guys that you want to go for first. Not sure if there's any multiplayer in this game. The possibility that there is, I can't see why not, you know, there's definitely scope for it, so I thought it'd be included. So I've got further than I did on the first attempt. So we can shoot some more bad guys. It, it, as you can see, it's a very basic shooting. It's almost just like a shooting gallery. You know, people walk or run onto the screen and just stay in the same spot and shoot at you. There's no um, running around trying to get to cover or anything like that. Very basic game. Interesting title, if, if you're just into shooting games and just want something to hone your skills on, um, yeah, it's worth checking out. So I've just been hit by an RPG. Now we get up and we're on to on foot shooting. I may have to uh, manually reload on this. Kind of 
see them people there, it's got fuzzy and shit. Can't remember how you fucking reload. Shit, man. Oh, is it sending me right back to the start? Oh, fuck that. Well, yeah, you, you can see it's um, it's a basic shooting game. Um, you know, you can pretty much sum this game up from what you see on the screen. Um, yeah, I wouldn't really recommend it as something to uh, try and get stuck into. It's okay to just put on for five, ten minutes and uh, just, you know, mindlessly shoot at people, but it's not a great download 